Poverty is not the only consequence of socialist policies. Socialists in absolute control of the machinery of government are in a unique position to commit mass murder. The 1900s witnessed death on a massive scale from genocide committed by the three leading socialists of the 20th century. National Socialist Adolf Hitler, Communist Mao Zedong, and Communist Joseph Stalin. According to the Encyclopedia of Genocide, Adolf Hitler is the third greatest mass murderer in world history, responsible for the deaths of 21 million unarmed civilians. Hitler, as head of the National Socialist German Workers' Party, promised voters the right to an education, to a job, to health care, and to housing. In 1927, he said, We are socialists. We are enemies of today's capitalistic economic system. Hitler was elected to the Reichstag in 1932 and appointed Chancellor of Germany by President Paul von Hindenburg in 1933. Hitler instituted policies of racial classification and affirmative action to assist Aryans and penalize Jews who were considered an unfairly advantaged group. Hitler's invasion of Poland in 1939 led to the start of World War II. As new territory came under German control, Jews and other civilians were rounded up and killed in mass shootings or deported to concentration camps and killed in gas chambers. National Socialist Germany provides the clearest example of the plight of minorities under socialism. A persecuted minority has no chance of success where the government controls education, employment, business licensure, housing, travel, and all aspects of life. Security exists only in countries which guarantee civil liberties and property rights and which never reward or penalize citizens based on racial classifications. In second place on the list of most prolific mass murderers is Mao Zedong, who is responsible for the intentional killing of 38 million unarmed civilians. Mao gained control of mainland China in 1949 and embarked on an ambitious program to create a dictatorship of the proletariat. Millions of peasants, landlords, scientists, and anyone not considered part of the working class were executed by the communists. Tibet was attacked and conquered by China in 1951. The Tibetan language and the Buddhist religion were outlawed and Buddhist monasteries destroyed. Agriculture was collectivized, causing massive starvation and the emigration of many of Tibet's people to India. Joseph Stalin of the Soviet Union is the world's most prolific mass murderer, with a record of 62 million intentional deaths of unarmed civilians. After Lenin died in 1924, Stalin murdered his opponents until he was the absolute ruler of the Soviet Union. In 1928, Stalin abolished private farms and ordered farmers to turn over their tools and animals to collective farms. Millions of farmers who resisted were killed. Landlords, aristocrats, writers, teachers, and members of the clergy were executed. Ukrainians, Germans, Poles, Hungarians, Romanians, Chechens, Tartars, and many other ethnic groups were killed or deported to slave labor in Siberia. Only governments and criminals use force to achieve objectives. Law-abiding citizens may only use persuasion and voluntary exchange. When a government has great power which is concentrated in a single individual, as is often the case in socialist and communist countries, genocide becomes possible. It is no coincidence that the three great socialists of the 1900s, Stalin, Mao, and Hitler, are the three leading mass murderers in world history.